All right, I'm going to do a little video here to show you um, the be careful with your silver and gold uh, acid kits. Uh, apparently the silver acid that I have has gone bad. Uh, the one on the left is the old one. The one on the right is the newer one. As you can see, the one on the left has a little bit of more of a purple tint to it. And I don't remember, I don't think it was that color when I got it. I think it was like the one on the right over there. But I, I found these two necklaces here a couple years ago and I did a little test on them with the one on the left and both of them come up negative. So I thought they were, you know, fake, even though they're both uh, Mark 925. Anyway, I'm just gonna show you here. Uh, you might wanna use use gloves. But here's the here's the one the the old acid should be turning turning red or brown if it's silver. And that's just kind of a purpley color. Okay. And also, if you don't want to, this is scrap jewelry here. If you don't want to ruin your jewelry or, you know, leave little marks on them, you may, may not want to do it this way. But then here's the new, the newer acid. So it should be either turned brown or red if it's silver. And the darker red it is, the more silver that is in it. So that one's showing good. They both of them both of them tested positive for some reason this one here has just turned purple and it's just not working properly anymore but let's test this one here it does not marked but as you can see yeah it's silver too I was pretty sure it was. I just had never tested it. So anyway, that's uh, you know, just make sure that your your acid is uh, is not old and it's up to date. So. I'm just gonna do a little video here to show you that that. Uh, be careful when you're testing your for your gold and silver because the acid apparently can go bad uh, both of these are from the same company JSP they're silver oh crap well that's great